The latest argument I'm hearing a lot about, and it's appropriate since this is a finance committee, is that voter ID is going to cost some money. <coughs> well, uh, pretty much everything government does costs some money. The most recent fiscal note that's been debated here today puts the price around $10 million through 2015. Uh, yeah, it'll cost some money to secure our elections against errors, fraud, and other abuse. But in the grand scheme of things, a couple million dollars a year to secure an election system that has to be trusted by the five million residents of Minnesota is a small price to pay for confidence in the outcome in our elections. Republics like ours can only function if the people have faith that they have a fair and equal voice in the process. That's pretty important. The continued functioning of our republic relies entirely on public confidence in the system. Since every poll shows that 80% of Minnesotans think we need to require voter ID, it's apparent that that confidence is lacking. What's it worth to maintain our republic? We're spending a billion dollars to build 10 miles of light rail that will require an ever-growing subsidy to keep operating that only benefits a tiny group of riders. Voter ID will benefit every voter in Minnesota and ensure continued faith in our system of government for $10 million. That's a bargain. If the money can't be found in the budget for something as fundamental as voter confidence and fair elections, but we'll build a toy train for a billion, I think the people will rightly question how seriously their elected officials take elections in this state. 